start? Right, right now? Right now. Right now. Yes. Oh, okay. Hi, uh, my name is Maggie Saylor. Um, last year, Blank Slate held an event called Heart Reacts Only, a fest, which was a roaring success in one of our last shows of the year. This year, things are a bit different, which is why we're bringing you Heart Reacts Light, a virtual holiday special. This year, we are holding the event in support of Genesis House, which is a domestic violence center in Lorraine County. They offer a variety of tools and services for survivors of domestic abuse, including shelter, uh, support groups, and legal advocacy. So if you would like to donate the cause, you can check out the link below. Um, you can also donate to Blank Slate directly or subscribe to our Patreon. If you're watching live, be sure to check out our other social media accounts where we will be keeping you updated and keeping the conversation going. Without our entire team, I, this event couldn't have come together the way that it did. So without further ado, we bring you Heart Reacts Light. Ta-da! Ta Hell yeah, good morning, and welcome to another episode of DIY or Die. I'm your host, Stringy Wingy, and in today's episode, you'll get an inside look at the Kiss Your Friends recording studio slash rehearsal room, because today, we're gonna give it a little bit of a makeover. That's why I'm outside the luxury home furniture store. As with any space you're gonna spend a lot of time in, but especially one like a studio, where the vibes are crucial, you wanna make sure it's as comfortable as possible. Safe. That's not why I'm outside the luxury home furniture store. The entrance to the studio is around the corner. Follow me. If you're new to the show, let me explain something. Here on DIY or Die, we try to do everything as cheaply and janky as possible while still being functional. Oh, now here's a fun question. Do you think this is actually Corona or is it piss? Leave a comment below if you think it's piss. Anyway, like I was saying, with that in mind, we don't spend money on furniture. But don't worry, the studio's not unfurnished. We have two thirds of a sectional sofa donated to us by a former house venue. Four chairs stolen from an abandoned golf resort. This Ikea nightstand my boss was trying to get rid of. And of course, a tiny, ugly pink desk, courtesy of Chris Lane. But just because we're not getting new furniture today doesn't mean we're not doing the makeover I said we would. If you look around in here, you might, well, yeah, well, don't, don't actually look around in here because it's a fucking mess. But if you were to look around in here, you might notice that there's no vocal booth, which is a strange quirk for a studio. So today, we're gonna build one. Here's what you'll need. A few sheets of plywood, some spare two by four, a stud finder, a level, a drill, a few T hinges, a couple caster wheels, various wood screws, and in our case, some self-drilling sheet metal screws for the metal studs in our studio. Some acoustic foam and or just some carpet, we'll be using both, and a caulk gun and some adhesive to keep it to the plywood. A little something to pass the time. Also, these little doohickeys I'll explain later. Here's the plan. We take two pieces of plywood and cover them in acoustic foam. Then we use the hinges to mount them on two adjacent walls in a corner so that we can fold them out to form the booth. This will allow us a little bit of flexibility. We can set up the booth when we need one without permanently giving up the space that the booth requires. This is what our chosen corner currently looks like. We're gonna replace all this with carpet and reuse the foam on the plywood boards. They're gonna be pretty heavy, so we wanna make sure we're mounting them on studs, which lucky for us, we're in pretty much the exact right places. No offense, but we already built one of these off camera just to make sure we know what the hell we're doing, so hope you don't mind if we only show you the process of building one. We're measuring out the location of the first hinge so we can use the edge of the plywood board to line up the other two. Lately I've been getting into 3D printing, so I modeled these little doohickeys to be the same height as the caster wheels. We can use them to prop up the board while we figure out the hinges.
Now we're ready to mount the caster on the 2x4. Then we'll mount the 2x4 onto the plywood. Now it's really important that we mount the board perfectly parallel to the floor. We didn't quite accomplish that, but with a little finagling, it worked out all right. It's cheap, it's janky, and it's functional. We're almost ready to start putting the acoustic foam up, but we only have so much real acoustic foam because, well, most of it we just pulled off the walls. The segments of foam are about two feet high each, so we marked out some two foot sections on this wall where we think the average human mouth will probably end up. Because it's not a matter of what that mouth do, but of where. <laughs> <laughs> We wanted the panels to look nice, or at least be symmetrical, so we counted up our foam pieces and realized we had enough to cover a 4x4 four four foot square on each panel. I mentioned we were going to cover the walls with carpet, and the way we decided to do that was by cutting out two feet tall sections and kind of staggering them on top of each other. We used a combination of glue along the top edge and screws straight through the carpet into the wall to hold them up. A little bit of a camera malfunction there, but we also put up a few of these bigger bass trap style foam pieces to record amps. The remaining surface of the panels we covered with pieces of what I think is actually a mattress topper. I don't know exactly, but it looks cool and it is foam, so. And with that, our vocal booth is complete. It's time to put it to the test. Does it make it okay? If I say that I'm sorry, and I tell you what I meant to say Does it make it okay if I smile and I wave, do I sing? With my eyes closed, do I sing through my teeth? Do I look to the side with that white knuckle grip on the string? I'm embarrassed to play cause I'm scared of the ghost in the room Is it all in my head? Does that make it okay if it's all in my head? Does it make it okay if it's all in my head? Am I crazy? Is this normal? Does that make it okay if it's normal? I mean maybe Who's to say? tweets you can buy all my merch if i can't get the sounds and the pictures and words and i can't write them down it's all worthless doesn't matter who hears it it's not an insult not a compliment i'm just getting it out of my system until then i'm only singing to get it all out Cause it's all in my head Does that make it okay if it's all in my head? Does that make it okay if it's all in my head? Am I crazy? Is this normal? Does that make it okay if it's normal? I mean, maybe Who's to say? Thanks for watching. Big shouts out to Maggie and the rest of the Blank Slate Illyria crew. Also, Coffin for the Screamo vocals, and especially you for watching. I'm Stringy Wingy, and we'll see you next time on DIY or Die. Hey, Heart Reacts, Fest Watchers, thanks for tuning in. 
and uh, watching this special event. I am Jason Kaminsky, and I'm stoked to be a part of this event. Uh, I'm going to play a couple songs for you. Um, one's going to be from the record that I just released called Until Tomorrow. And the other is an older song that I wrote that I actually have never released before. So um, I'll start off with that one. This next song is called Orange and Cherry, and that's going to be my last. Thanks for listening um, and for being a part of this Heart Reacts Fest. Um, we know that it has to be virtual for the way that things are, so hopefully next year at this time um, it'll be a little bit different and we can all be together. I could get away, 
forget about today Sleep until I feel tomorrow And when they empty the room I guess I'll know what to do Although it feels like my whole world is dying Better off Wishing I could get away Forget about today Sleep until I feel tomorrow I hope you're enjoying Heart Reacts Light. We have another great act coming up next. into my bed defeated at least i got bread repeated at least i get women deleted at least i got music conceded at least i look pretty to people who think i'm a mutant pause i'm at a loss of words so i'm sounding absurd for certain a featherless bird without a fly because we can't even stick together it's whatever hold me down as i go through this ohio weather it's pretty bad because it snows forever locked inside the house in this small town i could hit up women steady on the phone for that good old game of cat and mouse chasing tail if all else fails but really there's not much to talk about and romance is just having kids and paying bills praying that we work it out so they turn 18 and i can hit the scene at 43 i don't believe that's how it's supposed to be but opportunity lacking so my back city packing and my friends always laughing thinking they read in the captions but they don't know what'll happen shit me either i got a narrow view and attitude probably think i'm mad at you but only chasing better views don't want to be the type to lose will throw myself the cautious win just to catch a single win and even then my story won't begin Sorry to fall in love with one who can't feel love at all and still be Compared to other people, though you were always good enough. Feed the lesser evils even when you've got it tough. Add it to your burden instead of working towards a remedy and bringing in the wrong people. Lengthening the list of enemies. She decided to fall in love with one who can't feel love at all. Still, we pass on what.
faces that I see all around Too familiar Notice your two feet on the ground A line in the center Staring at the corner in the sun They say it makes it better I can feel you moving my way Bring the clouds through songs for me I'm not the one to tenderly bring this soft sympathy I've just begun to see my way clear and it's plain if I stop I will fall and I can lay down a tear for their pain just a tear in that song Oh, what do they want me to do? They say that they know The moments are rare, I suppose That it's true Then on they go Just 
say I don't care all they know that I do Maybe they just have to sing for the sake of the song think that I am to decide that they're wrong They'd like to think I was cruel but they know that it's a life for I would be No more than a tool If I allowed them to cry all over me Oh, my sorrow is real Even though I can't change my plans If they could see how I feel then I know that they'd understand Or do they actually think I'm to blame? Do they really believe That some word of mine could relieve all their pain? Can't they see that they grieve Just because they've been blindly deceived? their shame Or maybe they just have to sing for the sake of the song And who do I think that I am to decide that they're wrong All but nothing's what it seems Maybe they'll start someday to realize If they abandon their dreams Then all the words they can say are only lies Oh, why can't they see that to gain is only to lose They offer me are their chains And I got to refuse But it's only to themselves that they lie They like to pretend There's something that they should defend With their pride And I don't intend to stand here and be Hi, thanks for watching Heart Reacts. I hope you're paying attention because there will be a written quiz at the end of the show.
And now, line. What do you mean they already said it? Well, enjoy. <laughs>
Greetings, human. Your world is at the brink of destruction. Only you can save yourself now. And to do so, simply keep watching. What's up? We're Old Soul. We love you, and we love Maggie Saylor.
three. Heart reacts. Thanks, Blink Slate. Thanks, Maggie. We love you. Fuck! Fuck! Gotta do it again. Drop my phone. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that laughing sounds a lot like crying? Hi, my name is Joseph Maxwell, and my video is coming up next. So please stick around and uh, take take a look, take a watch. Sometimes you feel insignificant. You like to think that what you do has an impact on the world, but you don't know if that's really true. You go on LinkedIn and scroll through all the people you may know. It makes you feel like your accomplishments don't really measure up. You feel like you should be working at Microsoft or HubSpot or Riot Games or maybe even be an independent game developer. You learned a long time ago that it is unproductive to compare yourself to other people. Self-worth has to come from within. But that's easier said than done. Your life just feels so small and you close yourself off from people who might want to be close to you you used to be so hopeful for the future but now your hope is gone dead and buried you feel like you're trapped you know something better is out there but you just can't get through to it sometimes life just 
This sucks. Y you wish you were a tree. You believe that trees are the most evolved form of life. Someone with any knowledge of science whatsoever would probably tell you that that's ridiculous and makes no sense at all, but you still like to believe it's true. Maybe thousands of years ago, trees were just like us. They would think and talk and run into each other at CVS. Hey, how's it going, Bruce? Not too bad, Jerry. How are the kids? Oh, you know, they're a handful, but I love them. How's Paula? She's good. Thanks for asking. Well, I gotta go. Okay, see you around, Jerry. Bye, Bruce. Maybe after years and years of hustle and bustle, they finally settled down. They realized that life was better standing still, taking it all in. Maybe they have it all figured out. We also murder them for decoration, though, so who knows. Sometimes you find it difficult to believe in anything at all. The world is so big and full of confusing information. You tried going to church, but then you remembered that everyone always says you look like Jesus, and you found it disconcerting to see someone with your hairstyle and body type nailed to a cross. You're also not sure about some of the foundational aspects of your religious upbringing. You don't know if you believe in miracles or not. You used to believe in magic when you were a kid, but looking back, it's not exactly how you remember it. You've been trying to remember things better. The other day, you were watching a basketball game. With seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, the Utah Jazz were leading the Cleveland Cavaliers 101 to 70. Because of the large lead, you found your mind drifting to other things, like roast beef. A few minutes later, all the starters had checked out, and the announcers were talking about something completely irrelevant. Remember the commercial where Frank would ask the water boys for a glass of water on the sideline? And the water boy would fill up the cup, and then he'd bring it to Frank, and Frank would say to him, You take a sip first. <laughs> so, he wanted to make sure <laughs> the water boy was poisoning him. <laughs> that ball's not good at that. This part of a game is commonly referred to as garbage time. The outcome of the game is already known, but the teams still have to play through the minutes. In the past, this type of game had usually been boring to you, but for some reason, on this occasion, you found the certainty of it all to be relaxing. You've been trying to find comfort in the little things, like double stuff Oreo cookies or a supportive message uh, on your special day. Or how if you have a pillow that's shaped like a log, you can put it on your head and uh, pretend it's a hat. Or uh, the way the light refracts through your front door in late afternoon and makes rainbows on all your stuff and your wall. or this picture of you and your dad. You don't know if any of this really matters, but you're happy to have it. Sometimes you feel insignificant, but sometimes that, that's a good thing.
we got another band, and then 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 another band. <laughs> Thank you. King Saul followed his sword when it all went wrong. And Joseph's brothers sold him up the river for a song. And Sonny Liston dropped some tiger balm into his glove. Some things you do for money, but some you do for love, love, love. Konnikov felt sick, but he couldn't say why When he saw his face reflected in his victim's twinkling eye Some things you do for money, and some you do for fun But the things you do for love are gonna come back to you one by one Love, love is gonna lead you by the hand To a wide and soundless place Now we see things As in a mirror dimly Now we shall see each other face To face Way out in Seattle Young Kurt Cobain Snuck out to the greenhouse Put a bullet in his brain Snakes in the grass beneath our feet, rain in the clouds above. Some moments last forever, but some flare up with love, love, love. much heart reacts stick around no that's not fair i'm not complaining i'm concerned okay i'm just like how many more of these do we gotta do what are they like 35 they're they're like 30 acts on this thing and you expect me to do one for uh, we're rolling Uh, hi everyone welcome to heart reacts light where the the show keeps going and everything's great uh here's another act Um, my name is Willow. I release music under the name Anne Mary Clicks. I don't have any kind of song yet, so if you have one, please let me know. <coughs> and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. 
You fell in love with a star. Her white hair flowed past her shoulders and stopped at the middle of her back. She glowed a faint yellow, a contrast to the blue and purple sky. She was tall and thin, and when she reached a hand out to you, you took it, feeling the softness of her erythral skin. You traced the slight wrinkles you could find with your finger, trying really hard to memorize the pattern. You didn't want to let go. You wanted to stand there and hold her hand and trace her wrinkles forever. Her imperfections made her all the more perfect, all the more real. I have to go, she stated, her voice mysterious yet calming. All of the muscles in your body relax at the sound of her voice. She could do anything to you, and you would be okay with it. Please don't go, you say. You had just started to learn more about her, and now she's slipping from your grasp. You clench her hand tightly in an effort to get her not to leave, but she somehow finds a way to retract her hand from yours. I have to go, she repeats, and fades away. When you meet her again, you're much older. Your hair is shorter now and gray, unlike the bewitching curls you had before. Your hands are more wrinkled, and remembering things has been getting harder and harder each day. Some days, you can't even remember where you left your keys, even though you've always left them in the same place for 20 years. That's when you see her again. Up in the blue and purple sky, she stands there, looking down at you. Even though it's been so long, she still looks the same. Her long white hair still flows. Her eyes and skin are still their yellow color. She still glows like on the day you first met her. She takes your hand and this time traces your wrinkles. You still remember the pattern of her wrinkles from way back when. You wonder if the pattern is still the same. You're older now, she says. Your bones stop their aching. Your muscles stop tensing. <laughs> yeah, you reply. Your voice now hoarse, as if your throat were made of gravel. It's almost my time. She smiles, something you weren't expecting. Why are you smiling? You ask. You'll finally be able to join me. You hadn't thought of that before. All these years, all you had to do to be with her was die. You smile. Yeah, I guess I do. Can you feel it? Feel what? You moving on. I can feel it. Your bones continue to stop aching, and your muscles continue to stop tensing as she speaks. You can feel it. Did you ever guess you would fall in love with a star? She asks. No, you reply. But I'm glad I did. You look into her eyes, only to realize she's now right next to you. She cups your cheek in her glowing hand. It's time for a new adventure. All right, we're going to take a little break for about 10 minutes, and you should too go to the bathroom, get a snack, you know, do your thing. In the meantime, here are a few tunes that Blank Slate, Flipcoin, and Band Walgamuth star Ben Walgamuth made to fill the void.
thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, check out the links in the description. You can learn more about Genesis House and also Blank Slate. Did you know that Blank Slate started an online magazine? Head over to BlankSlateIlyria.com to find cool articles about music, art, and community resources. Hey, this is uh this is a nice little tune I'm hearing right now. Ben? Ben Walgamuth? Ben Walgamuth did this? 
Isn't he in Flower Pot Records own the You Suck Flying Circus featuring West Meadows? Who is it? If I learn from this how to cut my ties with the friends I miss, it was not your fault, but mine. I'm disappointed in myself I was supposed to have grown up Moving along to someone else Wasn't supposed to hurt so much You are a penny on the tracks You are a power surge at night And now I'm caught up in the past I wonder what I thought was right And I'll try my best With a head inside To think of you last It was not your fault Or mine Do you believe What I do I guess I don't know who I am Somehow I still believe in you You didn't mean to break my heart You didn't even have to try You're just the person that you are The force that pushed into my life Try my best with a heavy sigh to think of you less. It will take some time if I learn from this how to cut my ties with the friends I miss. It was not.
Hi, Jackie here. Next up is a short film. the seal a good shot. Yeah.
breathe yourself into me the highs and the lows mine's a bitter pattern i am to breathe head to my toes junior park my heart is pounding breathing falls with light surrounding the only one who ever found me junior park my heart is pounding breathing in the air around me darkness falls with light surrounding the only one who ever found me I took an entire day off of work for this, even though it's all pre-recorded and it started at 6.30 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's up. Know what's up, know what's up Girl, you know what's up Know what's up, know what's up Roll up a wood, I'm right on the move You want St. Laurent, you want trips out the country But we can't move right now Quarantine together, baby, it's only up from here Baby, let's set the move right, it's only us in here Yeah, you get it poppin' It's more than like them rock'em diamonds Yeah, yeah, no way that we stop it it's more than like they're rockin' powder, yeah, yeah I know that you bought it You fresh as fuck, don't need a stylist, yeah, yeah Rose and mixed with backwoods, got us wildin', yeah That's a bad combination, yeah But he got me concentrated, yeah Spinning round and round Back to back, go round for round If I pin you down I know what you like You know what I need Love all night. I know what you like. You know what I need. We make love all night. That's my baby. Yeah, you know what's up. Know what's up. Know what's up. Girl, you know what's up. Know what's up. Know what's up. Roll up a wood. I'm right on the move. 
want St. Laurent, you want trips out the country, but we can't move right now. Quarantine together, baby, it's only up from here. Baby, let's set the mood right, it's only us in here. Yeah, hold this shit down. Know that you solid, ain't got too much mileage. This could be forever, cause when we together, just know that we vibing. And the way that you smile, you walking around cause you know that you got it. Ain't worried about bitches, you ain't insecure cause you know that you found it. Yeah. Girl, you know what's up, know what's up, know what's up. We be posted up, posted up, posted up. Listen, I'm having a great time here at Heart Reacts, but I just don't know how I'm supposed to tell if I'm the number one dad when everyone else has all the same stamps. Fucking genius, dude. I'm a legend. I'm a reverend. I am so far up. I don't give a fuck. Welcome oh, to the danger zone. Up. Welcome Three, to the fantasy. Two, one. We all wanted to name the band Dwayne the Bear Johnson But that shit never stuck It'd be a bit of bad luck So we lost it We all wanted to name the band Dwayne the Bear Johnson So I talked to my friends We hit the drawing board again and again I remember when we broke up the first time saying this is it I had enough cuz like we hadn't seen each other in a month when you said you needed space What then you come around again and say baby? I miss you when I swear I'm gonna change trust me remember how that lasted for a day I say I hate you we break up you call me. I love you. Whoa, whoa
ever. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. We ain't never, ever, ever getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. But we ain't never, ever, ever getting back together. my heart in California in a sex only relationship with a girl I met on Tumblr and she's married now and every time I date someone I hate myself I left my heart in California The girl I met on Twitter and a friend I barely know. It's so scary now that everybody thinks they've got me figured out. I left my heart up in Toronto in a really shitty relationship. I left my heart up in Toronto. Whoa. Oh, hearts in Toronto. Oh, oh, hearts in Toronto. I left my heart in Massachusetts with a girl I thought was perfect, but my brain said we couldn't do this. I'm so worried now that I will never have any of this figured. Golly, that was that was that was really something, huh? Hey, you know, this is almost like a real show. All I need is like just like a really tall dude to stand right in front of me for like the next next forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, and then it'd be like a real thing. <laughs>
what's up YouTube we're just gonna jump right into the next act Hey, thanks for watching, and remember to donate to Genesis House. One. <laughs> One, two. One, two, three, four.
Right there, it was just a reflection.
This is Blank Slate, wondering if you remembered to take your vitamins today. Anyways, here's the next band.
I hope you're enjoying watching Heart Reacts on Valentine's Day, and it isn't just serving as an unpleasant reminder that there's nothing else to do. Wow, that last act was really spectacular. I may have lost my job, but I certainly haven't lost my sense of community. Thank you, Heart Reacts Light. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Fun, fun, fun as hell. hell. Looking, Looking for a country, country boy. boy. Minding my, my business. business. Nights into dreams. Nights into dreams. Nights into dreams. I'll say back forever. Nights into dreams. Nights into dreams. I'll say back forever. Nights into dreams. Nights into dreams. I'll say back forever. Nights into dreams. Nights into dreams. I'll say
Nights in the trees. If you let me wake up in thoughts, if you let me think, wake up in the thoughts, the colorful mist that swirls in your head, around your head, we can melt the dice. It's important, it's important that, that you, who is looking who is at me looking through the screen, show how much you have helped me. No, I wouldn't sure. be the same without your I wouldn't be the same without, without your tender advice. I love you too. All right, next on Heart Reacts, we've got. No, Eddie, it's literally fine. Like, there's only a few more. Like, no, I don't even know why you're complaining. There's like three of us doing. Eddie, Eddie, put that down. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm going to hit record right now.
그대는 나의 작은 소년 자두 소년 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 그대는 Thank you for tuning into Heart Reacts Light. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know what you think in the comments.